So the ROG Ally came out last month and I finally, after a few weeks of consistently checking my package's tracking information, got it right here in my hands. And after using it for a few days, I have some thoughts. To give you guys some context, I had my Steam Deck since late last November and I've been using it pretty much daily. Uh, but there is a twist. My Steam Deck is a special Steam Deck. It is no ordinary Steam Deck, it's a shiny Pokemon Steam Deck. My Steam Deck is a Windows Steam Deck. It's kind of out of juice, so it's hard for you to tell, but... Yep, that's Windows. Where's the mouse cursor? Yep, you can see. So yeah. I am an avid... Steam Deck, Windows Steam Deck user. There we go, it's not a screenshot. Oh, come on. Okay, you get the point. Yeah, so I have been using a s Windows on the Steam Deck since pretty much the beginning. And uh, I thought it would be a really interesting perspective for me to give my uh, first impressions on using the Ally, which is also a Windows-based device. Except my Ally is on Windows 11 and the Steam Deck is on Windows 10. Why is that? Don't ask. I just installed Windows 10 because I was more used to it that way, but uh, now using the 11 one, I would recommend that. Okay, so probably the first thing I noticed after unboxing the device and booting it up was the beautiful and bright screen. Just look at the difference. Both devices are in full brightness, and if I scooch them like right this, maybe? Yeah. I mean, they're similar. This is a... Uh, this is a 1080p 120Hz panel. It looks really good compared to the Steam Deck 720p uh, 60Hz panel. It looks a little bit washed out. I mean, okay, no, don't, don't get me wrong. Put down your pitchforks. The Steam Deck screen is definitely uh, good enough, but the Alice is just like way better. I mean, yeah. I used the Steam Deck, it was fine, it was amazing, I loved it, I like the screen, you can do some vivid mods on it, but just like after using a, the Ally's smoother, higher definition screen, I just, yeah, I just can't unsee the difference. The only real negative thing I could give the screen would be the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I really do think Valve nailed it with the Steam Deck 16 by 10. Aspect ratio because like uh, I get using 16 by 9 for watching movies, YouTube or consuming other content uh, But I just don't see myself watching Netflix on this screen Maybe I'm wrong since I do watch YouTube on my phone regularly But since both devices have a 7 inch display the, the vertical screen space wouldn't impact the viewing experience anyways Still it's a shame we don't get the tiny little bit more screen space on the Ally now the next thing I noticed was just how janky and complicated the setup process is. Uh, like I'm used to, I set up Windows with a custom install on the Steam Deck, I'm used to all the Windows quirks, but I'm not just talking about the initial Windows setup process on this, I'm talking about the whole you need to update the armory crate first in the update center, then you need to go to settings, update uh, the windows, then you need to restart, go here, update again, and finally you need to go into my ASUS and get all the updates there. Not all the updates instantly work and update. Also, on the My Asus app, you get the BIOS that uh, presumably decreased performance, I believe. So I didn't even uninstall that. I stayed on the 317 because I heard that's the best performance. And I believe as of today, there is a newer BIOS that actually increased like uh, fan curvature and stuff. But yeah, that that doesn't really matter. So like. The whole process took me around two hours when I received my device. And by the time I was done with it, it was already super late and I just left it for the night. Uh, now, I did watch a lot of reviews and online videos about the Ally before getting mine. And I was expecting the Windows jank, especially since I use Windows on my Steam Deck. But still, this annoyed even me, the guy that unironically uses Windows on a Steam Deck. So I can't even begin to imagine how an average Joe would deal with all of these issues and problems. 
I think Aces really missed the mark with the setup process. They should have included a startup script or something to make this whole process more streamlined. Because the stock Steam Deck out of the box experience is just miles better and idiot proof. By the way, let me know down in the comments if you want an alley setup slash debloat guide. Or for the Steam Deck, I don't judge. <laughs> I love them both, they're my children. Moving on, comfort wise, um, I think I prefer the Steam Deck a little bit more. Yeah, because it just, uh, the back of the device just fits a little bit nicer. I do have a case on this, I'm gonna make the ultimate Steam Deck accessory guide as well. But I think uh, just like my hand fits better and this bigger, chunky, uh, I don't know, bosom the Steam Deck. But it's definitely not bad. Like it does have that slight bump here and it fits quite comfortably. The buttons are a tiny bit mushier on the Ally, but I, would, I wouldn't say they're like anything super different. Oh not happy about that but yeah i would say the buttons are great the d-pad is a little bit clickier but i would say they're quite similar however i'm not a, like a fighting game pro so the d-pad might suck but for regular gaming it's totally fine the shoulder buttons i would say they're similar i'm not sure if the steam that has analog triggers because the ally does but they're like super similar to me i'm i'm pretty sure this Steam Deck doesn't have it? Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. The joysticks, the joysticks, what do I think about the joysticks? At first, I didn't like the Allies joysticks. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's a, a tiny bit smaller. But like the Steam Decks, I do have like stick grips and stuff. But I don't think that impacts it a lot. But this just feels like more stiffer, I would say. Maybe it is because it's bigger, but it's just like, it seems a little bit stiffer and I like it. Uh, meanwhile, with the uh, ROG Ally, I mean, there's like nothing wrong with it. It's totally functional. If I can close this down. It's totally functional, but... Oh yeah, I forgot to enable the best feature ever. Give me a second. The LEDs. We forgot the RGBs. Yes, this is the best feature of the uh, Allies analog sticks. Yeah, the analog sticks are fine. Like, don't get me wrong. I just prefer Steam Decks like 5% more. I think they're a bit more stiff. But the RGBs uh, save the, the, the sticks on the Ally for me. By the way, I do have the Hall Effect uh, joysticks. The electromagnetic ones that don't drift for the Steam Deck and for the Switch, not for the Ally. I wish... If they have one for the ally, I will uh, get them and make a video in the future, but yeah. I'm planning on making a, a custom Steam Deck uh, operation video where we uh, dissect the joysticks for them not to drift. But the main thing I miss the most on the ROG ally are the trackpads, especially using Windows. The trackpads are a godsend for mouse movement on the Steam Deck. I constantly use them for navigating all sorts of windows and they do not interfere with the controller inputs. On the Ally, you constantly need to go here into the settings and change from, uh, all, I mean auto regular didn't work for me, like from gamepad to desktop mode if you want to control the mouse with the joysticks, but on the Steam Deck you, you always can control the game with your joysticks and just have a, a mouse cursor bound to your trackpad, which I find really nice. Okay. Enough talking about the bits and pieces, let's get to the point, how does it game? It game real good, if you have it set up properly, that is. Uh, let's get this out first, the battery life sucks. You can see the percentages drop like flies, I mean, okay, my Steam Deck's not in the best shape, it has zero, oh my god, can you see that? The Steam Deck has zero percent right now, it's on life support, it's still breathing though. I was my ally doing it has like 25 it lost like 10 percent doing nothing standing here on full brightness okay yeah but both devices have the same capacity uh the same size capacity battery however the ally has the um, uses more juice for the processor and the steam ha deck has the more optimized uh, processor plus uh, i would argue that the screen probably draws like probably double the Steam Deck's power draw. 
but I I have no no data on that. I'm just speaking out of my bosom. So for me, the battery is not really a deal breaker. I pretty much game tethered to the wall most of the time, so it's not an issue for me. But I know for most people, it could be a big deal. For performance analysis, I recommend you go and watch some other videos. I don't want to go too technical in this video, even though it probably might already did. Uh, but yeah, I might do like a follow-up if people are interested. But overall, you can play most of your Steam Deck games at higher resolutions and or frame rate without issues. For example, I've been playing some uh, Diablo 4 on the Steam Deck and I was getting like 45 to 60 FPS on low settings, 720p. And on the Ally, using the turbo preset that boosts between like 25 and 35 watts, I believe, I got like 55 to 70 FPS or even 90. And also I was playing on 1080p, so I don't know, maybe Diablo is like a, a magical game that's optimized, but... Oh yeah, 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 I was using FSR on performance modes on both devices, so... That kinda makes sense, but still, on the Ally, I was like running in high resolution, so yeah, that's, that was pretty impressive. Also, I tried like uh, Need for Speed Heat. I, I used to play that game on the Steam Deck, and I was getting around, I think, like 75 FPS on low. And on the Ally, I also get like 45 FPS, but on 1080p. Or like something like 60 on 720p. So yeah, it's it's definitely more powerful in Windows mode. And I do believe Steam Deck performs uh, the same, if not a little bit better, in Windows. Uh, what surprised me the most was the fan noise. I don't know if you can hear it, but like just sitting on this desk the alley is silent the steam deck like ramped up his fans even though it has like zero percent battery ramped up his fans like six or seven times like they go whoosh and whoosh down meanwhile the rg alley is like super silent the whole time even when you game it's like really not an issue even though the air it's blowing is really hot and, and the alley does get hot but so does the steam deck so i think they're equal on that part are you alive buddy I also tried a bit of emulation, I didn't spend too much time with it, mainly just tested Simu and Yuzu. Simu and Yuzu? I do own two switches, wait, where is my switch? I don't know, whatever, not today. Yeah, so I did test out Yuzu and Simu on this device, and they both performed a bit better if not equal than the Windows deck. Oh right, I need to test this in the future, but on my Windows deck I was getting, uh, I was encountering an issue where I was getting lower performance than a regular SteamOS Steam Deck in uh, Yuzu due to Windows lacking the ability to disable cores and hyper-threading which you can do on SteamOS with SMT so they, the, so the ally might still come short because of the same issue but I'm just speculating at this point okay, so I think I rambled uh, on long enough overall, I'd say my experience with the ally started off on the wrong foot. Initially, I was really excited to get the proper Windows handheld PC in my hands. Like, uh, this is why I got the Steam Deck. I al always wanted the Windows PC in my hands. But like the the day one setup, the two hours setup, kind of killed the hype for me a, a little bit. But after that, uh, everything else so far was smooth sailing, and I really do love using the ROG Allen. My Steam Deck is currently. Uh, collecting dust at the moment. As you can see, it has 0% because I left it uncharged for too long, so I had to like... I had to bring it back from the dead pretty much before this video started for like 5 minutes on the charger. Oh yeah, the other thing, the Ally actually charges faster than the Steam Deck. It also discharges faster. Uh, so yeah, I'm planning on doing a proper review after I use both devices a little bit longer, maybe in like a few weeks. Uh, but overall, what do you guys think? Are you planning on getting one? Maybe you already have the ROG Alley. Or maybe you're happy with your Steam Deck. Maybe you don't have either device and can't decide. I really would like to hear your thoughts down in the comments. And that's pretty much all I have to say. So I hope to see you all soon on the next video. And I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. And subscribe. Bye bye. Peace.